Hey guys, it's Jessica here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving a makeover to this dresser. I bought this dresser from my local thrift store for $15. This is a really nice solid piece, although it is in rough condition. It is missing all of the drawer handles and has some watermarks and some really deep scratches on the dresser top and some of the drawer fronts. It also has this really nasty grimy film all over the dresser. I'm not sure what that is. So to start off this project, I removed the drawers and then I grabbed my hand orbital sander and began sanding down all of the deep scratches on the, in the old finish that was on the dresser. Then I gave a scuff sanding to the dresser sides and then sanded down all of the drawer fronts. So to give the base some cleaner lines, I'm going to be trimming off the scallop detailing. And so I grabbed my jigsaw and cut it straight and then sanded it smooth. Then I gave everything a thorough cleaning using a soapy rag and water. And then I came back with a clean wet rag to remove any soap residue. I'm going to be staining the dresser top using a dark walnut stain. And I applied two coats of the stain to the dresser top. I decided to try out a new product that I have not used before and I'm going to be using this Ben Shellac base primer in a spray can. I thought using this spray would be easier than rolling on a primer so I decided to give it a try and I'm going to give my thoughts on this product here in just a second. Okay so let's talk about this primer. I don't know if there was something wrong with the can that I had bought or that's just how it is but it didn't spray evenly I feel like I shook it well enough um, but it was just kind of like dropping um, bit large droplets while I was spraying it and it was just coming out kind of sporadically and inconsistent so um, I will probably never be using that product again I thought that it would spray nicely I have seen other people use um, the spray primer but um, it didn't go well for me so I will probably never use that again but anyways, I did give it a light sanding just to kind of smooth everything out because it um it was really clumpy. I don't know. Anyways, that was a disaster. So now I'm going to prime it again and I'm going to use Kills Premium Primer um, just because I don't know how well this did and I don't want anything bleeding through. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a coat of this on. So let's get to it. So after applying another coat of primer, it is now time to paint and I'm going to be using Waverly's Inspirations Chalk Paint in the color Moss. I got this paint at Walmart. It was about $7 for this eight ounce container. If you've watched other of my furniture flipping videos then you know that I really love this paint. It has amazing consistency, great coverage, and it's easy to apply and has a nice self leveling abilities. Overall, I just love this paint and the colors that they have. So if you have not tried Waverly Chalk Paint before, be sure to give it a try. So after applying two coats of the paint, I'm going to seal it using Varathane's water-based polyurethane. Okay. 
I applied two coats of the sealer to the dresser base and then I applied three coats to the dresser top for added protection. Now because this dresser did not have any hardware that came with it, I am going to be making my own drawer pulls to save a little bit of money. I wanted to try to make my own using some wood. So I grabbed a scrap piece of wood that I had on hand, got my table saw set up and then ran this board through the table saw and made this small piece. I sanded it smooth with my hand sander and then I measured out four inches to fit the holes that were already in the dresser and then I cut it down on my chop saw. Then I gave a light hand sanding to get any of the rough places smoothed out and then using the same dark walnut stain that I had used to stain the top, I stained the wood. After allowing that to dry for the recommended 24 hours, I sealed it using the same water-based sealer. Now for the drawers, I gave them a really good cleaning on the inside and then I got some of this Easy Liner removable adhesive. I got this at Walmart, it was about $6 and I'm using it to line the drawers with this pretty print. It definitely helped freshen the inside of the drawers and make them look nice, modern and clean. So now it is time to put on this new hardware and after setting the piece of wood over the existing holes and lining it up nice and straight, I screwed them into place using some short screws. So just a quick reminder of what this old grimy dresser used to look like and here it is now as a sleek and modern piece. So let's talk numbers real quick. I spent $15 to buy this dresser and for the paint sealer and stain, I figured that's about $10. And then for the drawer liner, that was around six. I didn't use the whole roll, so I have some left over. Um, so an all in cost of around $30. I plan on listing this on Facebook Marketplace for about 125. So if I do sell it, I'll make a profit of close to $100. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in a later video.